Welcome back to The Daily Dish. When women talk about hormones, you usually know what we're talking about. And in fact, we've talked about it on the show before, but not about men. When you say hormones to guys, they usually say, not me. That's not about me. Well, it is, guys. It could be affecting your health in a big way. Dr. Andrew Peterson is back on the show from Holtorf Medical, of course, located in Utah County. And this actually, I mean, is it menopause for men we're talking about or something different? Uh, sure, that's actually not a bad term. They, they call it andropause, but it's like with women. It can happen much earlier than age 50. Um, when, you're, when your hormone levels drop, then you're not going to feel as good. It doesn't matter whether you're 50 or whether you're 30. Um, so we've got the whiteboard here today so I can explain to you because a lot of people have this misconception that women's hormones are different than men's hormones. Well, and that it only happens to women and not necessarily men. Sure, sure. And so, but it turns out it's the exact same hormones. It's what do we have more of? Do we have more testosterone or more estrogen? Women, of course, more estrogen, men more testosterone. But the pathway is the same. They're made in the same way. And we just reserve more of the one that we need based on our gender. All right, talk us through how this works. Right. Um, well, the precursor to every hormone in the adrenal system, now that's what's made in your adrenals as well as your gonads or your ovaries, starts with cholesterol. And cholesterol has sort of been vilified like it's a terrible thing. Cholesterol is like water. If you have too much, it's really bad. And if you have too little, well, now your adrenals can't work. But so with cholesterol, we turn that into progesterone. From progesterone, we turn it into this stepway, step pathway, and it can become cortisol if we're under stress. If we're not under that much stress, we'll turn it into testosterone, or I'm sorry, DHEA, then testosterone, and then estradiol. I'm not going to write it out. Estradiol is a human estrogen. So men and women do this same exact thing. Is cortisol, if you're out of balance then, is that not good to happen? Well, we need both. Here's what happens. These cause cellular growth, and this tears down broken tissue. So let's say that I went for a jog. Um, that's stressful on my bones. And so some little connections in my bones will break down, and I'll release cortisol so I can take those broken pieces apart. And then I'll release testosterone and estrogen so that I can build the bone back. If I don't do that, I'll eventually have a stress fracture. So I need cortisol, wow. and we're constantly under some stress. You know, you wouldn't think of running as, oh, that's a big stress. But that physical stress requires that you make more cortisol. Emotional stress, nutritional stress, physical stress, the body interprets it all the same. So we release cortisol. Now, what happens is there's a limited amount coming in. If this gets too high, these go down. Mm. What happens when these go down? Right, well, testosterone for men is the most important. These two are called androgens. There's actually three estrogens. There's E2, E1, and E3. And these have receptors in the muscle and some in the brain, some in the bone. What happens is we're going to feel really tired. Um, our, uh, our ability to prevent injuries like uh, orthopedic injuries, shoulder problems, knee problems, that goes down. Our balance gets poor. Um, there's other things like you're going to be less assertive, you'll perform less well at your job, those sorts of things. Um, if these go down, now your brain doesn't function as well, your smooth muscle, which is your heart and your lungs, your gut, your arteries, they get less healthy and so more risk of stroke, more risk of heart disease. Um, men with low estrogen, for instance, have more Alzheimer's disease. So what happens, doctors just check this, well what if you've started turning this predominantly into estrogen. Those are those guys that you see that get, uh, you know, a big belly and man boobs. Mm -hmm. It's because they're turning their testosterone into estrogen. The other thing that we convert testosterone to is called dihydrotestosterone, DHT. And that causes a large prostate and it causes uh, you to lose your hair. So you've got these men that as we age, we're starting to go bald, we're starting to get a belly, and we're starting to feel really tired and lousy. If all I did is checked your testosterone and said, ooh, it's low, let's replace it, I'm actually making you worse because you're still converting it inappropriately, right? So rather than just testing the testosterone, do you test everything? Yeah, you really need to. Because if a man's progesterone is low, he's going to have a higher risk of prostate cancer. Because progesterone, so this causes cell growth, this breaks down broken tissue, progesterone causes maturity of the cells. See, I had no idea it was so related to your overall health. Yeah. That hormones were. Absolutely. Um, for, for men and women, and we think of them as, as vastly different, I think what, what happens a lot is that whether you're a man or a woman, you say, you know, I've got a stressful job, I've got a lot of kids, I've got responsibilities with my work, with my family, with my church, with my community. Of course I'm tired. Well, that's a stress you can't make go away. And so you probably shouldn't just say, well, I'm tired because I'm, you know, I've got these kids and I've got a job and I'm busy you're going to be tired because these are all out of balance. Mm -hmm. So 
don't chalk it up to it's normal to be tired in your middle age. You could feel much better. You can't get rid of the responsibilities and the stress and just make it disappear. But you can feel much better and now manage those responsibilities. And actually prevent some pretty serious diseases. Oh, absolutely. In the process. Cancer, heart disease, strokes, all the things that are the most likely to cause us to die. If you're watching thinking, I know someone that needs to contact Holtorf Medical. We're going to put all their information on your screen and on our website. There it is right there, holtorfmed.com. They're located in Provo. Phone number right there. That's the website. Go to abc4.com slash daily dish. And that's where you'll find all of their information. That was so interesting. I like that you it spelled it out. So much more sense. On the board. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. We have Eddie joining us in the kitchen today. Eddie from Yoshi's. How are you over there? Doing great, thanks. Good. What are you making for us? I'm making our firecracker soup. <gasps> Yummy. Okay, we just made some delicious butternut squash soup and good things now. now. Spicing it up for the Daily Dish. You get the recipe a little bit later, but up next in your celebrity dish, Rihanna turned 25 over the weekend and celebrated with a big announcement. What is she up to? We'll tell you next.